Team Yua, thank you very much. We are out of time, and because of the delay of the beginning of the session, that's why I will try to keep short. I believe that you know that in April there was a new classification by the WHO of the uh, uh, tumors of the urinary system and male genital organs. In two months before, there was the results of the consensus conference on Gleason grading of prosthetic cancerinoma. It uh, had taken place in 2014. These uh, consensus in Chicago was a base of WHO classification on grading of the uh, prostate arm. I believe that we uh, skip some introduction. Let's speak about the consensus. Uh, there were some doubtful issues uh, on gradation of cre uh, cribriform glands. In the original Gleason article, the cre uh, cribriform glands were put in grade 3, but uh, the patient with uh, such structures has a less uh, uh, good, has worse uh, prognosis, and uh, each crib, uh, crib reform structures, notwithstanding their size and regularity, they are related to, they are included in pattern 4, including the big size uh, crib reform. These are Unregular uh, glands, uh, glands. They are also included in uh, pattern four. This is small size cre uh, form and cribriform form of different sizes in one uh, uh, in one area. And the poorly formed glands. When we can see the uh, sizes with um, or areas with a different size of the. Uh, distance between the cells that these can be not only cribriform structures there were was another uh, issue dis under discussion these are glomeruloid structures for a long time it was gr discussed by the scientists here you can see big size glomeruloid structures they were not included in pattern four. I mean, bigger one, but smaller ones, which are associated to tubular glands, which are typical for pattern four. Uh, they were under discussion, and there was no consensus among the scientists for a long time. But nowadays, and it is included in WHO classification. All the glomeruloid structures are included in pattern four, and. Branching gland, uh, so called tubical and branching glands and single glands, with which are poorly formed, are also included in pattern three. Uh, they are not in the pattern four because this is just a uh, diffused uh, gland, so it. Should, we should not. We should avoid hyperstaging. And pattern four and pattern five were under focus. Pattern five. These are solid structures, solid fields, and necrosis, but also small solid tubes. These are not tubes because they don't have the uh, clearance. Notwithstanding the vocalization of cytoplasm. But there is like solid cylinders, as they are called in the consensus. They are included in pattern five. And Epstein writes that there is a hyperdiagnostics of pattern five on the material of trypana biopsy of the prostate, because for a pathologist, it is very difficult psychologically to upgrade the stage. When you have a doubt, it should be in favor of the patient. In this case, we should uh, uh, put less score. We are supposed uh, to put less scores against Gleason 
and here um, and th that it, that was the cause why of the um, hyperdiagnostics. There is another point in the classification in all situations when we face the deformation or malformation of the microslide of the surgery material or biopsy and if we have doubts in interpretation is it grade 4 or grade 3 we need to we are to follow the favor of the patient we should not hyper grading or hyper staging and put pattern 3 better than pattern 4 the consensus of they drew attention to the uh, grading of the Musinos uh, cancerinomes. At the previous uh, classifications, this type of carcinoma was put in the grade 4. Against new recommendations, which are approved by the majority of the specialists, the Musinos cancerinoma should be uh, graded in accordance with the uh, structures which we can see. These are the scores, uh, these are the points uh, for voting in Chicago. Uh, the majority of them were uh, great pattern four. Uh, these are cribri form, fused or poorly formed glands. The consensus excluded hypernephromatoid uh, cancer term. And you see the solid, uh, um, solid cylinders, um, branched glands uh, are included in pattern three, in pattern five, and pat pattern three correspondingly. And the only question which is still in doubt. This is a point. Twelve rarely discrete glands, otherwise pattern three with necrotic debris within the lumens represents Gleason pattern five. This. Uh, point 0.12 and it is not included in the present classification you see uh, how these uh, pattern Gleason patterns were changed from in comparison to the original one till the classification of 2016 and now we move to the issue of uh, my presentation the minimal score uh, sum of uh, uh, the Gleason is six scores. We cannot have uh, five uh, or four. The, the minimal sum is uh, two scores. So the gradation is from two to ten. But see, he, now we have just the minimal score, six scores. This leads into misunderstanding when the oncologists say that you have six scores out of ten, the patient understands that it, uh, he is in the middle, but in fact it is indolent uh, cancerinoma. The cancer of the prostate is not a solid uh, lesion and uh, the uh, tumors are indolent and they do not require the active invasion notwithstanding type surgery or radiation invasion they just need active monitoring in the minds of the patients in the minds of specialists the pathology uh, is misunderstood. The new Gleason grading groups were introduced. It is not uh, something completely new, but there is like uh, a stratification against the prognosis, against the forecast. This system is very effective, uh, very efficient. Uh, so there are five forecasting groups. These are n not uh, different tumors. 
these are a range of tumors, but this is the reflection of the morphology um, onto the um, forecast. So grade, grade group one, these are only individual, discrete, well-formed glands. And this group of patients has very good uh, forecast. There are two other groups, group two and gr group three. You see that the Gleason score is the same, seven. But there are two different forecasts, depending on the prevailing pattern. The clinical data were collected, and this led to the fact that these two groups were divided. Group 4 and group 4, these are differentiated and with bad for And that is the picture that illustrates it, and pathologists are not used to viewing such uh, pictures, uh, though life is such that we have to do that, because that is exactly uh, the result of our work, and you can see here how well uh, the survival curves are divided according to the stratification inside this uh, new system with new groups. And just uh, to conclude and to summarize, currently we have three main patterns, histological ones, pattern three, uh, which means uh, well-formed glands of uh, different types of sizes. They can be large or small ones. The main condition is a well-formed uh, structure of uh, the gland, and uh, uh, these can be diverging glands. Uh, and uh, also we can have uh, some uh, specific um, glands with uh, uh, the gaps that are not well formed but with the specific uh, sections, pattern 4, which uh, uh, includes the cribriform uh, structures with uh, different variative uh, forms, uh, glomeruloid uh, structures and poorly formed diverging glands. And also pattern number five, that includes solid fields of tumor cells and also scattered uh, cells and uh, uh, comedone necrosis and blondes of uh, tumor cells. And now, in accordance with the recommendation of WHO, um, together with um, the number of scores, Gleason scores, we should specify the Gleason grading group. Thank you for your attention. A very interesting report. Dear colleagues, any questions? No questions.